Welcome back to Walnut Springs. Today, I wanna to show you how to properly size your chain and replace it on your bike. Let's get to it. Okay, the tools that you're gonna to need today are a chain breaker or a master link remover, depending on the style of chain that you have, some lube to lube up the brand new chain, of course, the brand new chain, a new master link, and if you want, a chain checking tool to check the old chain before you change it. So this is my road bike and I know the chain needs to be replaced, but let's go ahead and check it with this bike hand chain checking tool. I do have a video that I'll link right here to show you guys how to use a chain checking tool to see if your chain needs to be changed. So I'm gonna go ahead and just check with the 1.0 just to see, I'm just gonna slide this in here. And yeah, it just slides right in. Definitely this chain has got a lot of stretch on it. The first thing, check to see if the chain has a quick release or master link on it, or if it's a rivet type. You may have to actually break it with a chain breaker, but this one has a master link or a quick release on here. I'm gonna use these bike hand master link removers and they work real easy. You just pop them in here and then just squeeze them and then the master link will come undone. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and just start pulling out the old chain. Okay, now that we've got the old chain off of the bike, we can simply just go ahead and stretch this out across the table. And then we can take our brand new chain and we can do the exact same thing. Now when you go to line up the chains, you wanna make sure that you have an inner link with an inner link or an outer link with an outer link. You don't wanna mix and match whenever you go to line these up. Otherwise, you'll be off whenever you go to break your chain. So now that we know the new chain has an inner link and the old chain has an inner link, let's go ahead and just line these up. Now quickly, you'll be able to see just the effects of chain stretch. Only a few links in, it starts to already be off on the links. Since we know that the old chain is stretched, we wanna make sure that we're careful and line up all of the rivets. We know that they were off down here, so we slowly want to just start lining these rivets up as we go until we get to the very end of the chain. And then that will indicate which link we actually need to remove. So now that we've worked our way down the chain, matching up each rivet, we know we have the proper length of this chain. And we are also ending in a inner link and an inner link. So if we broke the chain right here, we would match up to the exact setup that our old chain was. So now that we know which link we need to cut with our chain breaker, we can go ahead and mark it so we don't forget which one it is and lose it whenever we go to actually remove the chain. For the next method, it would be if you don't have a chain to compare it to, or you think the sizing was wrong on your old chain, you simply wanna take your rear derailleur and shift it all the way down to the smallest gear in the back. And then you wanna bring your front derailleur, if you have a front derailleur, up to your largest gear. Now that you've got your derailleur set to the proper position, go ahead and insert your master link if you are using one. And let's go ahead and put this on the front chain ring. Just be careful not to lose that master link when you're doing this. Just kind of wrap this around just like this. Then you're gonna to wanna to take the rest of the chain and you're going to put it over your biggest gear in the back. You're not gonna to wanna to put this through your derailleur, you're just gonna to wanna to put it on your biggest ring in the back. Now for the front here, you're gonna to wanna to do about a five o'clock position with your quick release or master link on there. And then with it wrapped around on the back, simply just pull the chain forward where it links up with the quick release or master link, you're gonna to wanna to count two more links. One, two. And in this particular example, that is the exact length that was on the chain before. This is the marking from whenever we checked it with the original chain. So now that we know that this is where we need to cut the chain, we can just take our chain breaking tool and simply just push that pin out. And there we go. That is our chain at the proper length. Okay, so now we can just go ahead and put this on the smallest ring in the back since that's what our derailleur is lined up with. And then we can snake it through here to get it on our front big gear. So now that we got the chain on the front gear, we've got it on the smaller of the back gears. We wanna fish it through the rear derailleur. Now this is where I recommend if you haven't ever done a chain replacement, take a good photo of your bike before you remove your old chain. 
That way you can kind of take a look and see how that chain is ran through those derailleur pulleys. Once you've done it a few times, it's relatively easy to remember. It just goes through in an S pattern. Okay, so now that you've got the chain on your bike and you're ready to connect the master link, get a paper clip or you can purchase one of these tools. I'll put links down below and just simply put it into one of your chain links. I recommend a couple of back on the ones on the back. And then for the one on the front, just do the same thing. Now this will give you a little bit of slack so you can easily connect your master link. Now that you've got your master link kind of connected, go ahead and hold on to it while you remove this little tool. Now that you've got that set up just like this, you can go ahead and slowly move it back around. They do make tools to reconnect these master links, but they are not necessary, only to remove them. To install them, you just simply put your chain at the top with the master link up there. Then you're going to hold on to your tire and you're gonna quickly push on your pedal. And there you go. The master link is fully connected, your chain's on, and you're ready to ride. There you go, that's how you change and size the chain on your bike. If you guys like this video, click that like button, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.